Okay, it's Alexander. And two love. From Mess Up Burning, and we're talking with the band here. Have you got your pronounce name? A Sobe Sexton. Sexton, what does that mean? He means playful sex. Great. Hey. Keith. Keith, uh, sometimes Mess Up Burning was mentioning that. There sh should there be in the between the K and the S U? Is, is it wrong conjunctively in Japanese? No, or it's not because it's phonetic, so it's 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 our preference to spell it that way. But it, I guess it could be spelled that way too. There's no really right. Okay, okay. we have to get that out of the way. Okay. So, uh, you just came off the stage there, where you you know in one of the side stages, and then where you pretty much blew off all the way all the other bands. Oh, well, thank, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, when we walked in, we were like, we saw the big stage, we were like, oh, it's so awesome, they're like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, oh, oh. But it's interesting because all the bands in there, like, you, there's, you know, three bands, I thought were, like, pretty, you know, fairly kind of revered and, like, you know, getting more known in the music circuit than you guys, I thought, were one, so. Right. Yeah, we would have liked to play on a big stage, but that's okay. The, the, the side stage was still okay, you know, it was nice and big, and the young man was nice and lights. What's up with Magic? I think they're over their head, like uh, playing on the big stage. Yeah. I, I don't know, I think they're yeah. pretty big, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 that's right. Man, the thing is, they talk any semester. <laughs> <laughs> but how long have you guys have been playing? Have you been um, we've been together for, um, the guitarist and I have been playing this band for like four years. So, yeah. And did, did you all meet in New York? Yeah, well, James, the guitarist, and Peter, <coughs> our drummer, they, they've been like high school for they've been that since high school. They've been in other bands together, which I've never Did you play in uh, a little more some of the early shows you played in New York with? Oh, so my God. Some of the oh, wow. bands. Oh. Mercury Lounge. Or like yeah, that. we played Mercury Lounge. We played. Um, what else was there? Lots. Lots. Well, Lots doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. It's now that was God knows like what. It's kind of electro clash. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that was an unfortunate uh, show for us. <laughs> but um, but yeah, we've been playing around there a lot, and, and I think just now we feel like you know we're, we're doing okay. Because during the last, last year, year, I think you guys really yeah. uh, your last record was really right. really acclaimed, so that right. fun, right. fun kind of pushed you out there and you're right. touring more because of it. Yes, like, yes, we're definitely touring a lot more. Well, did you, was this tour that you just did with the, those first big national tour? No, we've done national tours in the past, but um, this is by far the best one we've ever done. I mean, we toured nationally, but then, you know, people have to come for it to be, you know, a success. <laughs> so, you know, we toured a bunch, and then for the first time, I feel like, all right, we were starting to get, gain some fans, so it's nice. It's a nice one. And you uh, leave your life behind in uh, New York College. Yeah, yeah. yeah. day jobs, <laughs> work with day jobs. Um, yeah. Yes, it's, it's a gray area. It's like I can almost do this full time right. and make a living, and yet I can't. So it's hard to balance the two for sure. Right. So if you get this side, you like, you know, selling cigarette, cigarette pills. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no. I was a waitress for a minute. That was bad. I was very bad. Yeah, no, no. I was a horrible waitress. So is there pressure on you guys now for your next record that you start to record it? You no, know, we haven't recorded yet, but. Um, we're definitely, you know, thinking of oh, what we have to do for the next one, and we're starting to write again. And it's hard, you know, being on the road so much. It's hard to, to really like sit down and get some new material going. But um, hopefully, when we're home in December, we can really get a solid, you know, chunk of time to, to, to get that done. So, so when did you? When, how long have you been on tour for now? Um, oh God, since early September. So it's been. It's been shown, yeah. Yeah, and then we're back out again in January. April, so it's yeah, just just on and on and on. Yeah. yeah. Is it is it all in uh, America and Canada or? Um, we're scheduled to go to England in February, so that'll be a first. We've never you know left the U.S. with another band. Sorry. I'm not really sure. We we're uh, we we're we working out. I'm not sure because we just worked out a deal with um, the label out in Europe, so they want to bring us out, but nothing's really you know concrete. Right. Yet, so. So who writes in the band? Does the band write collectively as a whole? Is that one person tends um, to write more? Is it a well, it's tricky since <coughs> you know uh, our bassist and, and drummer Mitch have basically just joined the group. Mm -hmm. So the, this this collection of songs up to now, up to Citrus, are songs that James and I wrote together and then we fleshed out um, with, with everybody else. Um, and you know, Haji definitely contributed when we were recording. But 
but um, the KIS teams and I are the principal songwriters, and we function that together you know, as a band collectively. So. so you find yourself like sometimes uh, with these new members come in and out of the group, you're like uh, cracking the whip and. Uh, no, I'm actually one of the new members. Yeah, we're <laughs> the one cracking the whip on it. Are you amazing? Have you been doing anything that we've been doing? I know, I've actually I've known yeah. these guys for, for quite a while. I used to be do lights for them, so. Okay. Question like they should. If you did lights and they were like, they're the most you tapped away in the song. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 he's the one. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy, the lighting guy now might be in the band. Like, uh, We need a lighting guy, actually. Oh, so yeah, you, you have some like the orange guy, the lighting guy, the drummer. <laughs> right, yeah. Exactly. It's like Survivor or something. <laughs> that, that's a good TV show. And um, great. So, um, anything else? Anything, anything you want to say to like the denizens of San Francisco? Do you have any plane to give me shows? Yeah, you know, I, I wish I could remember the exact date, but we're coming back here. Um, Great American Music Hall with Lance nice. So that, that should be a good one. It's a great venue to play. Yeah, yeah, we're excited. Yeah, we're excited. Well, we should also talk about the Be the Riot Festival. It's the first time they did something like this. It's yeah. a real mix of you know, hip hop and rock bands and uh, new right. music. And, uh, have you been playing a lot of uh, things like this? Or? No, this is definitely our first big festival. Yeah. 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 What do you think some of the bands that you're It's oh, amazing. amazing. I think I said, actually, me with the explosions in the sky, I'm very fond of. That was actually a very, very cool thing to be able to just go and talk and uh, just hang out and talk here. <laughs> <laughs> and supposedly they have, they have our CD, so that yeah. was flattering. That was really... Oh, yeah, but well, it feels well, nice well, when other bands you like, like you back. So. Yeah, so they, what bands do you guys think? Currently. Currently? Um, or well, in the past. Well, you know, we were definitely... <laughs> but no, 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 we were definitely excited to see Explosion in the Sky, and they were one of the bands. You know, we were looking forward to seeing Deerhoof, a big fan of... Um, Break is true. I'm actually very excited to see it also. But they're playing at the same time as Dear Love, so right. we're on yeah. that. Right, right. I was curious to see uh, Living Legends, but we're playing at the same time, so mm -hmm. I couldn't check them out. But. Is anyone in the crowd recognize you before you played? Or is anyone kind of like. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You'd have to come in wearing sunglasses. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Until now, until after you play, then you got to be How's the uh, work sessions? <laughs> uh, pretty how's good. I like how you can you turn around your Red Bull container. How's the How's the Can you say a few kind of words about Red Bull? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Two, of the bad, two of the members are heavy Red Bull. Oh, yeah, yeah. they like the sugar free Red Bull. That's true. Yeah, they're down with the sugar free. Is there a commercial maybe in the works? Yeah. No, but absolutely. supposedly we, we get free Red Bull for life. And it was somehow hooked up. I don't know how. We gave <laughs> we gave somebody that works for Red Bull a ride at South by Southwest and now we have it for free forever. <laughs> or something wow. like that. So what, what, what about your uh, website it does is, is, does that you know, Um ride? yeah, actually uh, our friend Sean does everything. He does all our graphic design. So. And, and MySpace did it? No, the MySpace, as, as you can see, it does not look as good as <laughs> everything else, because we do that. So it, it doesn't look as, as fancy as everything else. Do you, do, you contact, do you write to a lot of people on the MySpace still? Or do you like people, a lot of people write to you? No. Well, write yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, you know. Do you get stalkers on MySpace? No, nothing too crazy. I mean, there were some crazy emails here and there, but I just kind of delete them and pretend like I didn't see <laughs> a lot it. Of yeah. <laughs> I am the prince from Kenya. I'm going to <laughs> give you ten thousand dollars. I think I write stuff back. She's like, hi, I love to that spam. Are you serious? She writes stuff back. She's like, tell me a bit about yourself. And they're like, hello, thank you. Um, yes, very nice. My favorite color is blue. Yes. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> What's your account number? Yeah, my space can be kind of scary. Do we have some questions from the audience here? You already asked them. You're the Japanese. Just throw it out to the audience. <laughs> Where's the uh, free alcohol room? Oh yeah, that that exists. <laughs> is there a free alcohol? No, there is not a free alcohol. How's the backstage? How's the you know the accommodation? The accommodation. It was like this. We walked in and we're like, okay. It's like banquet room. Well, yeah, but there was no there was no like chairs or tables. It was just an empty room and like ten bottles of water. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It was. It was 
bigger than this room. We're like, oh, okay. Where are you guys staying in the city? Yeah. We're staying with some friends, actually. Okay. Yeah. So it's, I think it's better to, to have friends. To yeah, you can show you the room breakfast place. True. True. And that's important. Cats. Yeah. Hang out with their cats. Yeah. Give them a little local color. Yeah. 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 The, uh, where do you go from here? From the San Francisco? I'm going to to Portland next. And uh, yeah. we have two days to get out there. So. Yeah, we have a bit of time to relax, so we need it for sure. We're going to go see Borat tomorrow. Yes, yeah. Yeah. excited to see the Borat. Yeah. Excited to see the Borat. Do you have anything to say to Borat? Any, uh, we'd love to talk about Borat. What's up? Question? Just a Borat-related question. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we don't do the voice. Like, too many people do the Borat voice, so we're going to refrain. Where's he from? Uh, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. When we were recording our album, like for the whole the whole time, our producer spoke to us in the Borat voice. Like every everything, everything he said came out that way. We're like, you need to stop saying this. You're trying to be crazy. So that was fun. <laughs> May that influence will be your next record. A little bit. A little bit of Borat. Yes. No. <laughs> God no. <laughs> But I think that, you know, now that the movie's out, our, the producer, Christine, is like at a frenzy pitch now. He's like so excited about the Borat. He loves Borat so much. <laughs> so maybe he'll try to like sneak in the influence. He was just a segment on the LAG show. Yeah, he, he, he would love to be, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's it. All right. We'll get you guys back here. Yeah, <laughs> like our cool water party. <laughs> lots of slashes. I know, lots of bottles of water. Where is that party here? Oh, God. Uh, the after party is back at our friend's house. <laughs> the cat. The cat. Yeah, the cat. Yeah, the it's going to be lots of snuggling. It's an early night. It's going to be an early night, I guess. Yeah. 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 Yeah.